I feel bad I didn't stop at any breweries along the way. This is Montezuma Winery. It's in Seneca Falls. I do like wine, but I just know a lot more about beer. Okay? So, I don't think anyone will mind. Check out Montezuma. Uh, do, do, do. Curbside pickup available. That's amazing to me. Ooh, distillery. Wish I brought some carrier. I can't do anything about it right now, you know. Wait a minute, where is... Yeah. Ooh, ice wine. Oh, brandy. That, that makes me wish I had brought a carrier. I do, I, I do like brandy. See, I'm not a big fan of the colored bottles, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Fudge. Home brewing supplies. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, looks like a. Well, oh, there you can kind of get an idea of what goes on here. What's the matter? Ah, uh, these are the brewing supplies. So obviously, yeah. Basically, this is what you do. You, you have um, a fermentation and then you have an aging vessel. Uh, yeah, here, these are hydrometers, which basically measure density. And then here's your things. Red Star Wine Yeast, Premier Classical. Those are the yeast that you use, depending on what you're making. Let's see here. So protein, calcium sulfate. Natural red wine, potassium metabisulfate, sodium hydroxide. Acidic blend, triple yeast, triple yeast. Oh, siphoning. Well, you got to get it from transfer from one to the other. Uh, it's important to get like good quality water. So almost you don't even want water out of the tap. You want something that actually filters the water, gets out some, even more stuff to make it even more, uh, uh, more like kind of like distilled water. Really, really pure. Makes better wine. And then once it ferments, you transfer it to the other one. So you take it from there to there, maybe add a little water, dilute it down, depending on the density you're looking for. It looks like they got everything you want. That'd be cool. I mean, if you're into that. Take a shot at life. But they do have fudge. Do have fudge. Oh, you the cheese. I do like good cheese. Apple pie cheddar. Ugh. Wasabi. Ah. Horseradish. Champagne. Jalapeno. Those are some interesting ideas. There's the outdoor tasting area if you want it. 
Of course, it's Halloween time, so it's going to be like that. That's obviously where they produce it. Plenty of uh, solar panels. Uh, they probably can get away. They can probably get away with using it because I imagine during the winter that it's not very active, so they don't do a whole lot. Or maybe they do. I read a thing about solar panels being basically worthless in the in the winter. Uh, their grape growing obviously is some other area because that looks like corn over there. Oh, hey, look at this. Yeah, that's basically the route I did. I went right down here, then come right back up. So it's a good ride. It's a good ride. They're uh, heavy on. They're heavy on wineries. There are some microbreweries. Um, to let you know, I didn't go to. I didn't go to a microbrewery because uh, these things like open up at three or four, and the location of my house. Three or four means I'd probably be leaving them like five a little after. That means I'd be riding home in the dark. And the deer are unusually active right now. Well, probably because there's lower uh, traffic volume, so they feel like emboldened or whatever. And deer are getting hit left and right. And hey, it's fine if you hit a deer with your car, but you hit it on your motorcycle. That could be, you know, hasta la vista, baby. So I do not want to be riding near dusk. So. That's the reason why I'm not waiting around for it. So, but got to see a winery. Not gonna do a tasting, not interested. 